Hi guys, my name is Lucy and today I'm gonna test for you new foundation. It's gonna be whole day wear test. And before we start, please click the subscribe button. Thank you. Today we're gonna talk about new makeup revolution concealer and define family. And I'm without any makeup and I'm not comfortable with this. So let me just grab a unicorn juice and let's start the video. go to the Makeup Revolution official website, you can read that Concealer and Define becomes a family featuring foundation, concealer and supersized concealer. Ageless, unisex, affordable, yours. I've been using the regular size of Concealer and Define concealer for a few months now and it's actually one of my favorite concealers. So I'm super excited to test out the foundation. I didn't manage to get the supersized concealer but I heard it's supposed to be triple the size of the regular one. The regular one is 4 grams and costs 4 pounds and the super size is supposed to be around 12 grams and it retails for 7 pounds. The foundation is 23 mils and it retails for 9 pounds so quite a good price. I had the shade F8 so let me just put my hair back and let's start testing. I already applied primer, my Too Faced Hangover one. Travel size! Keep it. As I said, I'm gonna use the shade F8. I hope it's gonna be fine. I grabbed this one on my way to work without even swatching, so... Let's pray to all the makeup gods, it's gonna be fine. Inside you have huge doe foot applicator. It looks exactly like the one that you have in concealer but on steroids. So let's swatch the shade. It's super creamy. I think the coverage is gonna be there. But I'm not so sure about the color. It might be a little too dark. We will see. So... Mm -hmm. On the official Makeup Revolution site you can read that Concealer and Define Foundation offering lightweight yet buildable coverage in 24 Skin through shades, this versatile foundation is designed to suit every skin tone and type. With an oil-free yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries to a long-lasting demi-matte finish, it won't settle in your fine lines or cling to your dry patches. Well, we're gonna do like a whole day wear test, so we're gonna see about that. On the official site we can read that swipe on wherever you want coverage using the doe foot applicator, blend out using the synthetic brush or damp blending sponge. On this side I'm gonna use my beauty blender and on this I'm gonna go with my foundation brush. Because as you know some formula works better with the brush, some with the blender, but to be honest usually I use just my fingers. Let's start. This feels a bit weird, like I'm overdosing concealer, but let's see how it blends. Oh, actually, it blends very nicely. For sure, coverage is there. Well, the foundation applies very smooth and nicely, but I think I choose shade a little bit too dark but we'll make it work and let's go to the other side oh I'm scared for this one and let's go with the brush I think it work it works fine I think with the Beauty Blender you are getting more coverage. So if you're looking for more natural finish, I would recommend to go with a brush. But if you want to cover your anxieties, then go with the Beauty Blender. Well, as I said, the brush side is more natural, more smoother. And honestly, I prefer the brush side. The Beauty Blender side it's more full coverage, I would say almost 
a little bit too heavy. Well, for sure, too heavy for my taste. Well, they say it won't settle in fine lines, but I think the Beauty Blender side it's already enhancing my little lines over here. So I'm gonna go with the brush and try to fix this and take a little bit of the product away. There, as I said before, I know this little guy already, so I know it will work. But my only issue with this one is it lasts only for two or three weeks and then I have to go and grab a new one. That's why I wanted the super size, because for double the price you get triple the product. I'm assuming that formula is going to be the same, only the size is going to be different. But at Super Drag on Oxford Street they didn't have super size concealer for some reason. I'm gonna look for this our makeup revolution. If you wanna hook me up with your products, please do. Wink wink. To make a like a fair wear test, I'm gonna set it with my Kat Von D Locket translucent powder as I do every day. So first I'm gonna bake a little bit under the eyes. Bake 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 bake. I'm such a good housewife. Baking every day. And I like to put my baking powder a little further just to contour with it a little bit. And I like to bake around my nose because this area for some reason is super red. So if I don't bake this area in the middle of the day, I'm gonna have like a red clown nose and no one wants to see that. I want to say we're done, but I think we need just a little bit of a bronzer because my face is hot, let's be honest. Just a little bit of shade and light, kind of a D again. So foundation and concealer is on, I set it with the powder and put just a little bit of the contour. Now I'm going to do eyes off camera, then I'm going to go to work, run some errands, I'm gonna feel on my phone during the day to see how the foundation behaves and in the evening I'm gonna come back here and share with you my thoughts and see if the foundation works. So bear with me. Thank you. So this is the first hour of our wear test. Let's see how the foundation looks in the daylight. Well, to be honest, from far my skin looks flawless. But when I look up close, it's a little bit too cakey for my test, especially the Beauty Blender side and the foundation sets in my fine lines. But let's face it, I'm old, so probably that's it. It's been six hours, I'm at Lola Cupcakes enjoying my strawberry milkshake. Let's take a look at the foundation. From far, it still looks very good. Uh, but when you look up close, I can see, I can sell some of my fan lines over here, here, and a little bit here disappeared. But overall, it looks very nice. It's, the coverage is still there. It's not getting crazy cakey. Just in the fine lines where I said, I'm just cold. Yep. Now I'm gonna go back to work and see you in the evening at the studios with my final dots. Uh, it's 11.30, I put foundation over 13 hours ago, so let's grab a mirror and see how it looks. Well, on my cheeks it looks super nice, the coverage is still there, I cannot see my little tiny veins. What's weird, like the creasing in my fine lines, it's less visible than it was in the morning. Around my nose you can see the red area, so the foundation disappeared here and my forehead is getting a little bit oily, the same my chin. But the concealer is still there, covering my dark circles and my anxieties. I can truly recommend for you to grab this duo, I think for the price it's doing a really amazing job. Just make sure you put the powder on top or setting spray. 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click the subscribe button, give me thumbs up and show me some love, show me some support and see you on the next one. Bye!